Don't miss. Is there any more runners? Okay, we're gonna need some energy back. There we go. Thank you. I'm only right clicking right now because we keep getting energy back. Oh, 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 oh. Let the runner come and. Bah! There we go. Nice. Greetings guys and girls and fellow gamers, my name is Games for Cakes and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Alpha 17. We are en route to one of the quests from the trader and we're gonna finish that and when we get back to our base, we're gonna do one of the things that you guys suggested to one of the walls in the base, which I think is a really great idea and I haven't done anything at all in that direction, which we're gonna talk about in a second. Anyway, so we're gonna do a little bit of adventure, hopefully some skull cracking, and then we're gonna go home and do some building as usual. And at some point we're gonna have to think about um, going back and hooking up our um, turrets to our rest of our horde base when we go back to our horde base and uh, make some bullets for it or collect enough bullets for it so that it should be fun anyway i hope you guys have either way a good time with the episode if you do remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button so let's get started okay this seems to be a new town that we haven't seen it before look it's all new so this is the fire station i believe now this is not where we have to do our run but it's interesting to see if there's any specialized shops that would be really cool. Like a shotgun messiah, for example, with a lot of bullets that would be absolutely amazeballs. Because I would have no issue with getting sidetracked on one of those. Oh, apartment blocks, we haven't seen any of them in a while. What else do we have here? We see here, we have a water tower, we have a broken apartment, we have the booby trap. <laughs> Oh! Dude, that was scary balls. Oh, cash loans, fast deals, loans. Oh, that has to have some treasures in there. Is that the pawn? Is that a pawn shop? Yeah, it is the pawn shop. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so that's steep. Um, that's not happening. Come on, you can do it. Ooh, what is this? What is this goodness over here? This town is rather large. Oh, is this a library? This is a library! Ooh! Okay, change plan, guys. Change plan. We're going to have to get sidetracked to go into this library. Because we may or may not find a lot of awesome things. So, I don't want to die here and um, have to walk back. So, we're going to get some plant fiber. We're going to make a bed. And then we're going to go in. Okay, that was a good start. A little surprise here. Nice. Okay, we're gonna scrap this. Actually, I'm gonna wear these boots because I forgot I have no boots on. I actually have no armor on me, so um, we can wear all of this, which probably is gonna slow us down. Eh, not too much. We're doing okay. Let me see. Stamina is going down quite a lot when we... Okay. We're losing 10 stamina per hit. We'll see how it goes. If it's becoming a real pain in the balls, then um, we're going to take it off again or scrap it. So let's go in. What do we have here? Okay, Jazz. Yeah, sure. Why not? It's all good for right now. Just in case we have any runners. Okay, no runners yet. Oh, there we go. There's a runner. Gotta have to wait for the runners to come out first. There we go. Thank you. And nice. There you go. Beautiful. Oh, don't miss. Is there any more runners? Okay, we're gonna need some energy back. There we go. Thank you. I'm only right clicking right now because we keep getting energy back. Oh, 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 oh. Let the runner come and. Bah! There we go. Nice. Love it. Okay, we're doing okay on energy. There we go. Nice. We leveled up. Beautiful. Oh, careful. This is amazing. Look at this. I'm going more and more, and more back in my seat. There we go. Nice. Okay. 
There's more attracted. Oh, 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 oh. This guy's coming over as well, isn't he? Yep. Brilliant. Okay, so let's go inside. Oh, okay. Oh, I can see a nice crate up there. Beautiful, beautiful. Gonna get some money from the cash register. Uh, or not. Okay, we're not gonna scrap this. We're gonna keep this um, because we want every single price to make bullets. We can't actually make any bullets yet because of the tool and die set. Damn it, I forgot about that. Oh, all the shelves are empty. This is the first time I'm actually in this big one in Alpha 17. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's a recipe. Ah, shadam. We can make it. Triple storage pocket. That's good. I think. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is there somebody coming in? As long as they're not runners, I don't mind. Okay. Ho, 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 ho. There we go. Nice. That was interesting. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We have to be careful here. Any runners? No. Okay, we let them come out. So is that any runners? I think we might have a runner here. Okay, I think that's good. Lovely. Okay, let's see what we have here. Empty, okay. Yeah, we take them. Um, steel arrowheads, okay. And we're gonna take the ammunition, absolutely. Let's reload. And empty. Take some money. Oh, nice. That's a good bit of money we actually found there. That's very, very nice. Whew. Okay, let's see what we get. Paper. Ooh, look at all these schematics. Full automatic schematic. And um, yeah, we are going to have to get these schematics made reusable through a modlet or something so that they don't. Uh, so basically, you use them in a recipe. It would be great if you can get them back. Or the recipes, you know what we could do? You know the mold system, like you used to have in when we had the Alpha 8.8, .8, you know, where you put the correct mold into the forge. So why don't you make a mod table as a modlet, and then you have to put the pattern you want to craft as the tool, as the, the thing in that you want to craft. And that way you don't have to use it. You don't have to worry about getting uh, writing code to get it back because it will just be used as a tool. Um, rather than as an ingredient. And then you just change the recipes to not use it itself, which I think is pretty cool, but to depend on it to be in the tool station. Oh, hello there, guys. Are you a runner? You look like you are. Okay. Nice. Okay, that was awesome. That was awesome. Yeah, that sexy Saurus is making things bearable now, which is really, really nice. Okay, so let's see what we have here. I mean, it's a kitchen. Oh, wow, look at all these papers. This is insane. Sexy Saurus. We could take them all. Mother load, boom headshot. But they're only temporary, so I don't want to really get too hung up on them. But you know what? They're like 100 quid each, and money is very scarce right now. So we're going to go back to the trader with them. Now let's pick it all up for now. Oh, we leveled up. Actually, that's a good thing, because we're level 70 now, I think. 71 even. Oh, my balls. I didn't even notice. So what we can do now is we can unlock steel. Yes! 
Ooh, mm, what is it good for? Jede Menge Steel Tools. Okay, so let's see what we have to do here. Let's um, get Pack Mule next level. Very good. So that way we have a little bit more room down here now. Very nice. I like it. And what can we buy? Will we buy some red tea? I mean, we have a lot of money, so I think we should. And that way we can drink it. And we don't need the water. Yeah, we should buy all that. Is there any stew in here? Oh, no, they removed that, I think, in 17.2, the stew and everything. So you can't buy that anymore in the machines, the shampoo, because it was, like, too easy to get. And probably made you look completely overpowered. Let's see what we have here. Okay. Beautiful. So let's go upstairs. And check for more treasures in the second floor. We should probably bring this stuff back to the um, bike. Okay, so here we go. Beautiful. And any of the patterns we can leave here as well. Excellent. Okay. That's all good. The rest we're going to take with us because we're going to throw some of it out again. It's absolutely fine. So let's go upstairs. Oh, careful with the energy now. Oh, actually, we did not do the bathroom. Okay, murky water. Probably not going to hang on to that too long. Just going to go through this here. Okay, scrap, scrap, jar. And that's it. And, yeah. He definitely looked like he just appeared there. No runners. Oh, nice. We got an airdrop. This episode is going to be full of treasure. Oh. Oh, excellent. Yeah, these things make no sense to destroy because there is... Um, there's no hole in the wall, I suppose. There we go. Hmm, I still can hear a sleeper, though. wonder where he is. Okay. Oh, what is this? A rod remover schematic? Okay. Sweet, we got another schematic. A choke shotgun schematic. It would be good to get not the schematic, but to actually get the item. That would be absolutely fantastical. There you go, that's her done. Okay. Okay, now we got some duplicates even. No, no, they're not. Wow. Yeah, we don't really need these guys. Yeah, let's drink a little bit more of that. And do we need food? How are we doing on the old food front? It's 136. I think we're doing okay. So I don't think we need to keep any of that. Um, I don't... Yeah. You know, I'm not gonna really hang on to this right now. Okay, let's go to the other side. Oh, wow. A burning shaft mod schematic. That would be awesome. Put that onto my barbed wire club. Can we craft this already? Because that would be pretty sweet. We can. Look at that. Forge steel, glue, a torch. A melee item can double as light source and set enemies on fire. Oh, this is awesome. Because we have another one free here. That is sweet. And can we repair that? Excellent. We can. That is sweet. Okay, we got some special bullets here, I think. What is this? Cripple M schematic. Ingredients to craft high-tech modifications to weapons and armor. Okay. 
Excellent, and we're completely over-encumbered. There we go, thank you. And that's it! We finished this room, this is awesome! Okay, let's go back downstairs. Whoa. I think we can loot one of those cupboards. Oh no, they're already open. <sighs> okay, and now we're gonna go and get the rest. And we're gonna put as many of them... Do they stack? Do these manuscript things stack? The ones that are the same? Or do they not? Let me see. Physician, Motherload, Hidden Strike, Hammer Forge. Is any of them the same? Holy balls. Let me see. Oh, okay, they do stack. Oh, nice. Excellent. Oh, and that is it. Look at that. We're already full. There's so many of them. That is insane. Yeah, they have to definitely do something about them, because that's just... Look at this. This is insane. Like, even if you would be going out for loot, you can't carry all that home. That's just crazy. Do these things stack? I don't think they're stuck. No, they don't. Okay, so we basically fall just on uh, magazines and mods. That That is insane. Okay, so we're going to throw that out... Um, yeah, we're gonna keep that. Well, we're gonna go in now to get the... Oh, we still have an airdrop. I don't think we're gonna have enough room. Anyway, where's the airdrop? Let me see. The airdrop is... Where's the airdrop? Let me see. There we go, in this direction. Which is back home. Oh, that is excellent. So this is where the airdrop is. So we're going to put a quick wave point here. And we're going to follow this now. Oh, okay. So I feel like we should go back to the trader first. It's only 12 o'clock. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, there's the airdrop actually. We're going to pick that up on the way home. Because we should have the room. Yeah, we have room. So let's see what's... Ah, let's see what's in it. I nearly hit it. Okay, scrap, 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 scrap. Take, take, keep, keep. Keep, yeah, we're gonna keep all of them. Yeah, why not? Okay, awesome. And now we're gonna go to the trader and sell all the recipes, as many as we can. Oh, actually, it's also good that we're back because you guys said I should have bought one of the mods. I don't remember what it's called. We're gonna check it out now. So first of all, let's see if we can sell all of that. There we go, nice. Lovely. Oh, nice. And we leveled up. <laughs> okay. There we go. Let's do that all in once. Excellent. So we got some good bit of money now, which is absolutely perfect. Now, the mod you guys were saying, um, oh, what was it called? No, 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 no. You know what? Let's just have a look here first. Shotgun turret. The auger is 23,000. We don't need this. This is a grave digger. It wasn't that, obviously. So we're gonna have to go here. It was something for the gun. Here. Trigger group semi. Yeah, and I'm gonna buy both of them. Because you guys said it makes it a semi-automatic, which is very good for an AK-47. Apparently, when you're in really close range. So, say you have this oh shit moment and they get too close. This apparently is very good because Gratitude it, oh, safe travels, friend. it um, apparently, according to you guys, um, also um, stabilizes the gun a little bit or something. And then you have one where you don't have that. Um, so you have two AK-47s. And then you have one where you don't have that uh, without, the, uh, without the mod, you know, for the long, long range shooting. So you can make some nice mix and match. So let's see. Any weapons? Do you have anything else? No. Okay, nothing of interest, really. Everything else is just, yeah, too expensive. Okay, we gotta go quickly home. We're gonna drop Try off all the other junk so we have some room, especially the mods. And um, we're gonna see if we can make the fire mod, actually. All right, while we're home, we might as well get going on the wall. Now, um, this is the trader box. Yeah, excellent. We're gonna put that in there. And what you guys suggested, and it actually makes a lot of sense. So let me just get some blocks so we can close this off here. Um, but, 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 but crafted. There we go. And yeah, we don't need to make a concrete. It's absolutely fine. Get some cobblestone rocks, actually, to um, finish the walls. And let's get our hammer from our bike. 
There we go. And we might as well just fill her up. There we go. Nice. Okay. Um, yeah, leave the shovel in there. Is there anything else we crafted? Yes, two cement mixers. Ooh. Excellent. Now, what I want is I want to get some steel and I want to craft this mod. Um, all we need is really steel, five glue and a torch, So, which is all easily made. Also, um, what we're going to do is we're going to raise this wall here. Let's just put the hammer down here. And we're going to make this wall solid. So this is going to be solid regardless. There we go. Excellent. Okay, so what we're going to do now is over here... We are going to, um, well, upgrade first of all. Three, we need, I would say ten. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I hope it's going to be ten. Eight. Oh, nine. It's not going to be a full ten. So we're going to do five and um, then another five below or above whatever we gotta do the whole wall okay and basically what you guys suggested is um i have a few patreon supporters yeah and i don't really advertise it as much i have a link on it on my homepage on the main channel page but i don't really advertise it because i was going to get rid of the patreon at some point but then i started streaming a lot more and people said well you know we're doing the twitch subscription and that's why i wanted to get rid of the uh, patreon and then people said no i don't want to do the twitch subscription thing you know just leave it there even if you you know just bare minimum and i said okay fine fair enough so i left the patreon there um and people could like just if they wanted to you know support for a dollar and that's it you know there was no there's no reward scheme or anything saying oh if you give 10 or if you give 100 i'm gonna do this i'm gonna show up to your birthday and sing your song or say no touches i don't know um i don't do these things yeah so because i wanted to get rid of it but a lot of people actually preferred doing that so i said you know what i leave it there but i never really do anything for patrons because well i have a support i have a channel in discord a special channel and um you know and that's about it but you know, so somebody suggested, let's. why don't you put the wall, um, a wall up and put the names of the patrons there? And I said, oh, that's actually a good idea. And we only have a few, so they all fit on it. I think they all should fit on it. But um, I, we're going to start with the top 10 um, lifetime supporters. So that's how I see it. So basically, the people who have supported the most so far, which is the people who are currently supporters and still actively are supporters, and um, have supported the most so far. So the top 10, and then we're gonna build it out to the, the, all the 40 that, that uh, are supporting us. So um, we're gonna start putting the plaques up, and I have 10 plaques here. So today we're gonna do the top 10, and let's do five, I suppose. This is nine, so let's see. One, two, three, four. It's two on either side, three. Okay, let's, um, yeah, let's, let's do this. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. Okay, so now I'm going to start on the top left. And I'm not going to do the full names because some of these names are actually people's names. So what I decided to do is just use the first names and that's it. Yeah. And unless they're usernames, then um, I will just put the username in like that, you know, because that that's like, you know, not giving really anything away. So, and if somebody has the same name, then we're going to use, um, you know, A and B or whatever. Yeah. Um, you know who you are. There we go. And they're literally going from top to here. So there we go. And that will be... Michael and oh, oh you sneaky you you sneaky sneak and what do we have here um Jamie and Geo Tundra I'm pretty sure that this is not a proper name I hope and then we have John and then we have Butterfly 
and Big Eel. Excellent. Okay, so these are the top 10 that uh, of Lifetime, so that are currently active and have supported the most over since we started the Patreon. Yeah, so I, th I think the very first one is actually with us since I opened my Patreon, I think. Yeah, I would have to go back and check, but uh, that's basically a whole lot of support. And I never really did anything because I was kind of like, well, I want to get rid of it because I don't know really what to do. But again, if you guys actually prefer doing this whole thing with uh, supporting on Patreon and you have ideas on what you think we should be doing for Patreons, listen, join the Discord and have ideas. Yeah, and if you are a Patreon supporter, join the D Discord channel and um, you get special access to the Patreon channel then and you can leave ideas there. You know, we can do something. It's just I never knew really what to do that doesn't seem superficial, you know, and this kind of is nice because it's always there. Yeah, and we can put a big massive sign on top saying like, you know, patron wall or something. Yeah, so we can do that as well. Anyway, um, I thought I'm going to cover that because I thought it was a great idea. Let's go and see if we can do that mod. There we go. Let's actually turn this off. There we go. And let's turn that off. And we have our anvil here. Do we need anvils here? No, we don't. So let's see if we get any clue. Oh, nice. One, two, three. Four, five. And what else did we need? One torch. Do we have a torch already crafted? No? Okay, let's see if we can craft one. A torch. We need some animal fat and some cloth. So let's get some cloth. Let's get some animal fat in the food, I think. Yeah. And let's go out and craft the mod and see what's what. Oh, what are we missing? Oh, we have to craft the torch. Yes. <laughs> I don't want to kill these zombies yet. Well, maybe this one because he's dangerously close. Um, he's not dead. I see it. I see it. No, he's dead. Okay, so... Here's the mod, come on. 20, 25 seconds. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, baby. Might as well just, we can't repair these. You know what we could queue up? Some steel tools. Um, steel pick. Oh, we have to queue them up here, okay. Come on, four. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, I still have my armor on. I forgot. That's why I'm feeling so sluggish. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let's run, 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 run. And let's put the mod in. Modify. And bam. Excellent. Look at this. Fully kitted out. Absolutely beautiful. And none of the mods are actually not meant for this stick, as far as I know, yeah? Except for the color. Because I don't like the idea of putting a mod on a thing for the sake of getting an increase. It's I think that's rubbish. I think they should not allow us to do that. That's why I don't think they should... Um... Is she going to be on fire? It doesn't have a chance to set them on fire. Okay, let's hit the legs and see. Yes! Oh, that is beautiful! We need some health numbers here so we can see actually if they're gonna die or not and how much damage it does. There you go. Yeah, I, uh, I hope people can make that a modlet. I, th I know Darkness Falls has that, but I hope that can be made a modlet itself to actually show the health bar because these type of things are great to test, you know, like to see how much does fire damage do over time, you know, things like that. So what we're going to do is we're gonna do a pickaxe here for steel. Steel pickaxe, excellent. And we're going to do a fire axe, a steel fire axe. Excellent. And we might as well do a steel shovel. Oh, I can that do that on my on my person. Can I make any of them on my person actually? No, they're all here. And they take a couple of minutes, so yeah, that will take a while. And they all should be the maximum level here because we're pretty much maxed out. So um, is there anything else? We leveled up again. Sexy Saurus is there. Pack Mule. Let's go full out. There we go. We have full Pack Mule now, which means everything's unlocked. Beautiful. Now, if everything is unlocked, what is the point of this? 
mod now. Do we get extra slots? Now, I didn't realize how late it actually was already with the episode because of all the shenanigans we did with the wall. So I think we're going to do the um, the quest next time. Um, and it's also going to be nighttime soon. So what we're going to do is we're going to probably stick with the building and upgrading the horde base in the next episode. And then in the morning, we're going to go and fetch... Um, the thing for the trader. I think that would be a good idea. So this is going to be the Hall of Patron. There's no windows here. There's going to be more plaques. So we can put another 9 across 1836. There we go. We can put loads here and we can put loads more here. I just want to leave these special because they are the top 10. So we're going to put another full row underneath and another full row underneath of the rest of the patron and they're going to go into that order. So I'm not going to change the order and which obviously means the newest ones would be going over here obviously they would be they, they would be on the bottom sadly so but um it's a the cumulative um life uh, long support that we go in the order of so anyway um that's what i think actually would be fair so um but anyway let me know about this in the comments you know in on the discord you know especially in the patreon channel on discord you know so i know um you know who's saying these things and who's making the suggestions but anyway so um we're not gonna put any more here we're gonna leave the episode here um thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did remember to kick that like button in the balls and i hope i see you guys in the next video and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button and see you guys next time until then as always huge pass and happy gaming well there's our tools and our storage very good so let's see what we have here do we have any... I, I don't think I wear any armor in the moment. Well, can we put it on the leg armor? Or can we put it on this? I don't know. Can we modify this? Okay. And we can't put that there because it can only... Come as penalty. Oh, it's an armor mod. I thought it was a pocket mod. Triple storage pocket. Decreases encumbrance penalty by three. So is there a point to that if we don't have any encumbrance anymore i don't know well we have armor here so we could test it out so i suppose it could actually i think i know what it does so let's take the chest piece for example so the chest piece modify um does that have an encumbrance stat Let's see if something changes. Minus effective resistance. Okay, nothing changes yet. Six, three, mobility minus four percent. Does it change? I don't think anything changed. So if we wear this now, nothing changes. So I'm assuming what happens is when you still have slots locked, it unlocks them. But if you have all unlocked, then there's no point putting this on.